Fungal immunology is a vibrant and extremely exciting branch of infectious disease biology. It's very complex, but it's absolutely for sure that we have to get on top of this and understand our immune responses to fungi to be able to deal with them properly in the future. There are no vaccines against fungi, neither are there any established immunotherapies where you help the immune system to work together, perhaps with an antifungal drug, to, receive, to achieve a better outcome. Fungi turned out to be extremely complicated in the various immune responses they induce. Sometimes they overactivate the immune system, sometimes they're not seen enough by the immune system, and you have to know what is going on. If you want to propose an immunotherapy, you need to know that you're working with and not against the natural immune response. I would like to just highlight one example which is also mentioned in the book. There's a relatively rare but nonetheless horrendous disease called chromoblastomycosis, a disease which is endemic in South America. This is a disease which infects the skin, it's desperately difficult to eradicate, often requires surgical removal, removal of large pieces of the skin and long-term therapy with drugs. One of my colleagues discovered that the reason why it was difficult to eliminate was the fungal cells in the skin were not being seen by the immune system effectively. It turns out you need to have multiple cues of the presence of the organism to kick the immune system in. And the whole immune response to this fungus was being mediated only mainly by a single immune reaction. So a hypothesis stemming from that work was, well, what if you stimulate the immune system with a second signal and then start to achieve the amplification of the immune response that you need to eradicate the fungus? These experiments were done initially in mouse models and were found to be phenomenally successful. The therapy then suggested by that was a simple topographical cream with a chemical which was a stimulant of the immune system and that has been done in a small scale clinical trial and it seems to work just as well or even better than going through the agonies of removing a whole section of tissue and long term chemotherapy. So the potential of understanding the immune system and working with that to achieve new therapies is really intense.